And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 7e Alchemist quest. And as always, hello from Ifri. So we are here in Uldar Steps of Fall at uh, 1310. And we need to talk to Popa Cooley. And the quest is called A Love Beyond Lifetimes. Popa Cooley appears to be greatly disappointed. And this is to get Stroke of Genius, like with all the other crafters. So forgive me, Mifri, I've failed all of you. Um, Anso Burr has made his escape. By the time Sarah Ruka arrived at the Brass Blades and we entered the warehouse, he was already gone. We kept watch in shifts after that, but he did not return. No doubt he was onto us. But the more we learn of our prey, the more likely we are to succeed in our hunt. Uh, Sura, sorry, Sasaruka found a woman in the employ of Ansobert, um, an attendant. We've gotten word she is out to the market as we speak. Come with us. Uh, we mean to search for this attendant in the Sapphire Avenue exchange. Okay, so... We need to go that way. It's not too far away. Okay, so let's talk to this person. So, yes, that is correct. I am in the employ of the merchant Ansober. Why I inquire as to what business this is about? Uh, we've reason to believe that your master is involved in a murder. Tell us, have you noticed anything strange about him or his estate of late? Master Ansober, well, now that you mention it, there was another young lady who began to work as his attendant around the same time as myself. Uh, but one day, with not a word um, of any sort, we simply, she simply up and vanished. I never saw her uh, come to work again after that. Master Ansober claimed that she was stealing valuables from his home and that he had no choice but to discharge her. But I grew to know her in the time we spent together. She never would have done such a thing. Um, I came to hear rumor not long after. People say that Master Ansober only hires at his attendants, uh, as as his attendants, women of humble means. And I confess, at times, I find his gazes quite discomforting. It's all right. You're safe now. But I must ask: Will you come with us to? Um, Aralig's uh, burial chamber. There is something we need to know, and only you can tell us. Um, if it will in some way help you learn what happened to the girl, then yes, I will follow whatever, sorry, wherever you ask. Cool. So let's go. So we need to go to the burial chamber, which is right next to the um, Black Mage, the Pharmaturge Guild. So once we get there, we will continue okay so we made it to the burial chamber so let's talk to the heart saw handmaiden so yes it's her the girl at rest in the coffin is the same that worked beside me at mast um, at ansobert's estate i know now as i suspected then that his accusations of a fevery were lies he did this to her uh, we must capture ansobert before he harms anyone else. I'm sorry, I know this is not an easy time, but I must ask, where is he now? I know only that some dealings with a new client had taken him to Revenant's Toll. Then let us make for Revenant's Toll. The hunt is on again. Okay, so let's go to Revenant's Toll. So, he'll come here before long. We only need to wait. Make ready to show answer about the vengeance of the dead. Okay, cutscene. So, who in the hells are you lot? We're here to ask about the corpse of a young lady known to have been in your employ, one of your lady attendants. I know nothing of such things, and resent the implication. I have no business with you, and you've none with me. We know you attacked our friend as well. The evidence all points to you. Confess now, the penalty you will pay will only grow if you don't. 
I told you, I know nothing of such things. I urge you to relent in this. A merchant such as myself has means of dealing with such harassment. So, do you now? Um, what means are those? I'm eager to hear. So you, impossible, you were star uh, through your heart. Uh, Grandpa, you are well again. Uh, what sort of warrior do you take me for? I've spent years cheating death by sword and spell. Did you think some common blade in an alley would be the end of me? Yeah, especially through the heart. I mean, hearts are overrated anyway. So, now then, which of you was it? My sword left a nasty bite of its own. Let us have a look at those hands of yours. So, well, it would seem that you've left me no recourse but to kill you all. Send these fools to meet their maker. Uh, didn't you hear him? That's Grenfar, the bronze bull. He's a bleeding legend of the Colosseum. Up there, like the likes of um, Hellfire Phoenix. You're not paying us enough for this, merchant. If you have a fight with the bronze bull, that fight is yours alone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, I fought my past uh, behind me, uh, but perhaps I am not behind it. No matter. What say you then, Anselbert? Are you prepared to confess your crimes? The girl, it was her fault. She forgot her station. The debt she owed me for taking her in. She had no right to refuse me. Uh-oh. So in the end, I forced myself upon her, but to no avail. She sh swore she would tell all of Aldar of my improprieties. Uh, that she would tarnish my reputation, ruin me. I could not abide that, so I silenced her. We are not here to judge you for your crimes. That has will fall to others. We are here for heart strike. You have it still, yes? Surrender it. So, we'll take him back to Aldar and the Brass Blades, and fear not. Should we come under attack and he die along the way, well, we'll be sure he receives a proper burial. Ha. So, this is the uh, true heart strike, and the blade I stole was nothing more than a fake. Now we must find a way to release uh, Nelfa Fresne um, from the curse that binds him. So we should show it to uh, uh, Severion. Uh, there are rumors he dabbled in raising dead before. Uh, perhaps he knows something we do not. Interesting. Okay. So let's go back to the Alchemist Guild. So once we get to the Alchemist Guild in Ulda, we will continue. Okay, so we made it here to the Alchemist Guild. So now let's talk to Severian. He's right there. Because we did actually raise someone from the dead in the previous quest line, didn't we? Remember that. I thought it was a while ago. So we must find a way to break the curse of this blade. Well, what a most pleasant surprise. I heard a horde approaching and thought I'd be inconvenienced by some daft clientele. Ah, now this is a rare treat indeed. Heart strike, I presume. So, how foolish Lord Lolorito must have felt when he realized the blade was false, and Mumu pose was genuine, and now to see um, it for what it truly is. 
Heartstrike is not and ever was a blade with the glorious power to turn death to life. It is and ever was a blade with the hellish power to turn death to undeath. It is in all ways a tool of the most detestable um, of those who practice the dark arts. When the blade punctures the flesh of the dead, the magic contained within this duel here commands to action the deathly forces that grip a corpse. And yet, behold the other side, there is no such duel um, embedded here. I would hazard it was dislodged at some point in all the exchanging of hands and violent stabbings this weapon has seen over the years. Without the other stone, there is not enough power to fully render death to undeath. By the grace alone do uh, Neil Fresne and the young lady continue to lie in their perfectly preserved state. Had both stones remained, they would have risen as monsters, not as they were known in life, uh, not truly living. With the power it was still able to muster, Heartstrike simply uh, fettered their spirits to their bodies. So that in turn explains wondrous well uh, why their flesh has never set to rot. Now that at any point hence, um, the undoing of Heartstrike's magic will serve to unbind their spirits. Then and only then will they be free to return in peace to the ethereal realm. How? And how do we undo what it has been done? I dare say it is far more simple than you might imagine. You need only destroy the source of the magic. Uh, stay your sword, fool. You will not break the magic by breaking the blade. We must obliterate Heartstrike and leave nary a trace of its physical existence. To that end, we require a powerful agent, an acid, a dissolvent of some sort. You like crafting, don't you, Mifri? And that being the case, you have done yourself a great service in coming here. Such a concoction shall prove no feat at all for myself and my prestigious pupil here. Is that not right, pupil? I'm the master, what are you talking about? Indeed not. Um, I would expect nothing less of you. How dare you say it, pupil. Psst. And so in the end, we turn to you, friend. The wrongs of our past were our own, and I hope to right them by our own hands. But it seems that that was not meant to be. Uh, that shame is ours to bear. For now, take your time. Steady your hand. Make us what we need uh, to undo what Heartstrike has done. We will await you at um, Eralig's Elra burial chamber. So look at how far you've come. Without even realizing it, you've grown to be quite the dependable assistant. But enough praise, it does not become me. Uh, come, let us see to the task at hand. We are in need of a solution that will dissolve this accursed blade. Okay, so I need to make a vial of potent dissolvent. So let me see. Potent Dissolvent. There it is. So, Synthesize. 80 Durability. So, I'm just going to use my 80 Durability macro. I have shared it in a previous video. In case you're wondering why it keeps saying cannot execute at this time, it's because it's trying to do basic touch and um, I think precise touch at the same time. But precise touch can only be triggered w when either there's a good or a excellent. So one of them will fail either way. It's just a clever use of the macro back in the early days of Stormblood. It's not needed anymore. I could change these macros, but I'll change them all in Shadowbringers. Okay, so that's done. So let's go now to the um, burial chamber. Once we get there, we will continue.
Okay, so we made it back to the burial chamber. So let's talk to him. So how did you fare, friend? Is the mixture made? Yes, let's hand over this, this solvent. The solvent's so potent, it will eat through almost anything. So let us put this to the test then. Rip. So, I've run from your death ever since it took you. I was a bronze bull, but from that uh, day to this day, I've run from myself, from Blade, um, that is my very life. But now at last, I can move forward, I can see you sound to the other side and live as I should, as I was meant to. Be at peace now, friend, lay down the heavy sins of that day, I will carry them. Uh, yours and mine both. So, Nil Fresne. Nil. Uh, this is it then, the end, the very end. Never will I forget you, our time together, the days I spent in your arms, in your love, never. I love you, my sweet. Then, now, always. So farewell, my darling Neil. Cool. So let's carry on. So there are no words, friend. No words. I owe you more than I could ever hope to repay. By your toils, my dearest Neil is now at peace. I know uh, not what to say, but this. Thank you. A thousand times thank you. So, Neil Fresne. <laughs> Chin up, uh, Susuruka. Uh, this is an end, but not the end. There is still a path before each of us uh, that we must walk. You are right. And there will be those who we lean upon, just as we have to get here. Your mentor, Severian, is one such soul. Please do tell him how grateful we are for all he has done. Okay. 
So once we get back to Severian, we will continue. Okay, so we're back in the Alchemist Guild, so let's talk to him now. So, welcome back, my intrepid cadet. Tell me, uh, did all go well? Is Heart Strike no more? Then your dissolvent did as dissolvents do. That is good. I am eager to move on to our next lesson. I put to you a fledgling yet great alchemical mind, this quandary. Should you be faced with the death of one whom you love more than life itself and had at your means a method to resurrect him or her, would you? Uh, no, I would not tamper with the natural order. Hmm. Then you and I are very different people indeed. You are far braver and far more noble. I venture that you at most, as most, know the pain of losing someone very dear to you. Uh, there are those who would do anything to bring back those they held uh, torturingly and unyieldingly dear. Uh, were the path to do so presented to them, many would find the temptation to tread it uh, too great to resist. And I dare say I must uh, count myself among their number. I did what I could to undo the death of my beloved. Yet in the end, her breast never swelled with the breath of life again. We were able to say our farewells, however, and for that I consider myself blessed. In the face of such loss, we can do naught but comfort um, our own weakness and carry on with our lives. That act itself is a central pillar of this miracle we call life. Well, enough of this heart strike business. It is done and behind us. And while we busied ourselves with it, many chores have amassed at the uh, prontisserie. Uh, there is much to be done. You did well, Mifri, and you are among the finest alchemists I have ever had the honor to train. Come and see me again when you find yourself in need of help. Cool. So that's complete. So in delivering deeper uh, into the mystical truths that govern all matter, you have learned Stroke of Genius. Cool. So that's it. So anyway, guys, that wraps up the Alchemist uh, quest line in Stormblood. We'll see what comes next in Shadowbringers. So if you like that video, remember to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.